and Dragon, a Dragon's Honor Among Thieves, hits theaters tomorrow. We're taking you on location to where it was filmed. Join us way all the way from Northern Ireland as lifestyle expert, our friend Lindsay Myers. Hey. Lindsay, before we get into the movie, Hello. Uh, Hi guys. Where, where in Northern Ireland are you zooming from? Are you, are you ready for this? Look at this. <laughs> I'm in the throat. At Hillsborough Castle, that is right. How insane does this look? It's the royal family's residence here in Northern Ireland. Mm. In 2021, right before the you know the queen passed away, she actually made it Royal Hillsborough, which is a massive deal because they actually named it Royal Hillsborough. It's one out of four towns in all of the UK that has a royal status. It's unbelievable. It's charming. It's gorgeous. Lindsay, you look like royalty just being there. And as usual, you sent us something. Tell us about these local drinks you sent us. Ah, oh, oh my gosh. So right there in front of you, you have a gin cocktail. People think of whiskey and they think of Guinness, I think, when they think of Ireland. Yeah. But you have something. The gin is everywhere here. And really? all the small towns here in Northern Ireland have these small batches. They pull from their farms, botanical, yeah. those, the floral notes. What you have there has some, you know, pomegranates in it, has some sea salts. It's refreshing yeah. and delicious. What do you think? Delicious. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, what is I this like Hollywood it. nickname um, for Northern Ireland? What is it? It's called the Great Green Wave. It means we're talking about they were all over award season. You know, it was Irish everywhere. The Oscars alone, they were up for 14 nominations. Everything from actor to visual arts mm. across the board and so well deserved. All right, well, we came in with a little Dungeons and Dragons, Lindsay. It looks incredible. How many of the filming locations did you get to visit? Oh, my gosh, so many. So I actually got to see a sneak preview of the entire movie. It's so fun, action-packed. I laughed a little. I cried a little. It's hilarious. I also got to travel around to so many of the locations. That right there, Tollymore Forest, is in front of you. I got to travel around with the locations manager, Naomi Liston. So she got to say sneak peeks. She told me all about the history behind the locations, what they were doing, the logistics behind it made it so fun. That forest is so majestic. It's throughout the entire movie. You know, Dungeons and Dragons is massive. It started in 1974. You know, we're talking about 50 million people having come in contact where they played it. They've been involved and it even inspired Stranger Things. It's amazing. Ooh. What's the music scene like out there? A lot of bagpipes? Or no, that's Scotland. Yeah, so it's crazy. You know, they people think of, you know, Irish music, they think of trad music, they think of traditional. But so Belfast is amazing. It's one of my favorite cities. It's vibrant, it's colorful, music's insane. You know, they have a new wave, they have punk. They also just got named UNESCO World City of Music. So it's it's protected, you know, they really take care of it. They have museums for it. Right there, if you can imagine, I did a Balron, is what it's called. <laughs> it's a drum. Mm. I got to play it. It was way harder than looks, but I think it looks hard too. I just started dancing because I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, you're adorable and you nailed it, by the way. Uh, Lindsay, did you get to visit the castle from the movie? Ah, oh my gosh. So I did. So right there in front of you, that's Glen Arm Castle. So the scenes, we have scenes of the bridge. So we have Chris Pine in this movie. We have Hugh Grant in this movie, Michelle Rodriguez. The cast is insane. They're so funny. I can't wait for everyone to see this. But that castle right there you see in front of is privately owned. Somebody owns that. That's a family home. Wow. That's awesome. Is there a best time of year to travel to Northern Ireland? It sounds like it can get really cold. Or what's the most affordable season? Great question. I mean, I love Ireland year round, but you know, I always say, so go when the weather's a little bit nicer, obviously, and less crowded. So go between about March and May, which is shoulder season. And then on the other side, like September, November, not going to be crowded. You know, we're going to have lower prices across the board. Weather's going to be great. Hey, look, it rains every day, but you don't have rainbows if you it don't have rain, day. right? And again, <laughs> this is better here. We saw the little cute it, umbrellas. It rains every day. It's a sprinkle. It's like L.A. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, great job. Thanks a for sprinkle. sharing all this I with us. Thanks, Lindsay. Right for more great travel tips, please visit Lindsay's website, Get Lost with Lindsay. Oh, she's got her crown. Coming up, Dr. Pimple Popper is here and back for a brand new season. She'll be weighing in on some of the latest TikTok trends coming up next.